program, which we call UMRP for short. It is the oldest of the recruitment programs. We've been around since the early 1970s in really an effort to bring visibility to Harvard around issues of access and, um, and representation. Right? And so we've, we've seen a Harvard, uh, the Harvard of today, right, is a Harvard that is continually evolving and changing and really bringing in students. You know, our commitment is to bring students who will bring talent and uh, from all backgrounds. And so for us, what we do um, is not, some of the things might seem similar from what other groups um, have already mentioned, and we work in, uh, you know, we work parallel to one another, um, and we'll collaborate oftentimes as well. So, uh, but with us, I guess if you kind of take a step back and look at, you know, the work we do um, as an office, there's kind of three parts to it, right? There's the recruitment piece, there's the admissions, and then there's yielding. Right, so actually getting our students to, to commit to Harvard. And so on the recruitment side, we uh, do email campaigns. We reach out to students across the country, encourage them. They're, they're student-focused, student-centered letters. Right? So we're encouraging students to get in touch with our office, yes, but directly with our students. You know, really putting our students at the forefront. I think that's something we all have in common, that we believe that student voices are powerful, and we want students to connect with other students. Right, so we have our email campaigns, we are accessible by phone, and if students find themselves on campus, they can also uh, meet with our students. And right, so um, more generally with recruitment, we also host a visiting public schools or community-based organizations, organizations that may be working with uh, larger populations of students of color, uh, Inner identity is intersectional, so sometimes students may also be lower income or rural or first gen, and so uh, we will organize uh, special information sessions and tours for um, visiting groups. In addition to that, we also uh, will we have a hometown recruiting program uh, similar to, to what you've heard before. We ha we train, we hire, we train and uh, about 15 to 20 undergraduates each year to go back to their hometowns and visit about 15 schools in their areas. Um, and uh, we compensate them for this, but they're visiting schools and really encouraging students to, uh, one, to think about schools, highly selective institutions like Harvard. Right? It's Harvard, but also general college awareness in general. Um, and two, really get the student voice again, right? What is it kind of demystifying what it is like to be a student, and in particular, a student of color on Harvard's campus. So that's hometown recruiting, and we're actually uh, in get, getting that rolling because we send students over their winter break, so we're already starting to uh, train our, our undergraduates. And then when we look at, and also we have a social media presence, all that. Um, Switching over to yielding, right? We've we've admitted a class, and now we do call-a-thons. We're trying to get students to again connect with other students, encourage them to ask us their questions, uh, and our students who work for us are well versed in the opportunities available here at Harvard and uh, and the communities that students can partake in, right? And not least of which, the cultural communities here on campus. And so uh, we, we field a lot of questions related to that. Um, and the other part of yielding for us, which is a big, big thing, and Max will talk a little bit more about this, but visitas, right? So admitted students weekend, um, we see, we actually set up hosting for a lot of students who come. We offer hosting to students who would like to take us up on it. Um, and in previous years, correct me if I'm wrong, we've hosted around 900 or so. Uh, admitted students for visit times. The undergraduate minority recruitment program hosts, uh, in the past few years, about a third of those students. All right, so uh, so it's a pretty big, big operation, and there we we hand match students, right, based on uh, background, on interest, academic, you know, extracurricular, so on. Um, and uh, and then during visit times, when students are here, we will put together panels, um, which you know our coordinators will participate in and talk about, again, what it's like to be a student of color on Harvard's campus, how to get involved, uh, you know, and we open it up for questions. And, um, and then we also kind of 
we believe that through doing this, as students are thinking about you know, whether or not they're gonna come to Harvard, and most do, um, that we are able to share with them what their life could be like here and how they can plug in to a variety of communities uh, once they get here on campus.